Hey, in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your own database and then logging into it. First thing you want to do is to make sure you have your local PostgreSQL server running. Once done, let's use the pgadmin tool to connect our server, then create our database. First, we'll specify the details of our local PostgreSQL server. Click Create Server. Now the name of our new server. Make sure that it is as descriptive as possible. It is very important to give descriptive names. It will make your life and the life of your colleagues, co-workers, collaborators much easier. That is your local Postgres server. Moving on to the connection tab. Now the connection details. It is something very important but still many people get it wrong. Your host name. The host name is a physical address of a machine where your PostgreSQL server is running. In our case we have our server running on our laptop or computer, that's why we'll type in localhost. Localhost is a reserved keyword and underneath, under covers, it will get translated into the IP address. The default IP address for the localhost is this, 17001. We can choose to use this address or we can still use localhost, it doesn't matter. Port. The default port number for PostgreSQL server is 5432. We'll leave it as it is for now. The maintenance database. The maintenance database is the name of the database you want to connect to. But we haven't created any databases yet, right? So we'll specify the Postgres, which is a name of the database the PostgreSQL server creates for us during the installation process. And it's a default username. Now we'll type in the, the password we specified during the installation process, save it, and we're good to go. Now let's open an object tree of our server. Item we are interested in is databases. So here we can see our default Postgres database that was installed for us. Now we'll create our own database. Give it a descriptive name again. And we're good to go. Save. Now let's connect our newly created database and query it for the first time. Go to Tools, Query Tool. We'll start with something very basic. We'll ask our database to display our current username and a current time. Okay, so the current username is Postgres. It's what we specified during the login process. And this is my local time. Now we are ready to create our first tables. See you in the next video.